Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking more about dates. Now, if you remember in the previous tutorial, we created a date object and set it equal to the current date. And then we just went ahead and showed that in a message box. Now, what we can do is we can extract certain parts of the dates. So we can get the month, the day, the year, uh, hours, minutes, seconds, uh, the day of the week, or the day of the years and all of these are available to us inside of the date class so let's go ahead and show some of these so we'll type message box dot show and we'll show the month and we'll go ahead go ahead and add current date dot month and we'll just create a couple more of these and we will show the various parts of the um, date so we'll just do year now you can see that these don't have the little purple boxes here they have uh, a little box here with a finger pointing at it and um, what that means is that it's a property or a variable so this isn't a method or this isn't a function like the two string or two uh, short date string this just gets values from the uh, object that we've created. So let's go ahead and show some more stuff here. So we can show the day, which will show the um, the current day of the month. Now we can get the hour and the minute and the second. So let's go ahead and type that. So we'll type hour and then we will add current date dot hour. And now what we can do is we can add what's called environment dot new line. Now I may have talked about this in a previous tutorial, but what this does is it takes this string right here and then when we add environment dot new line, it'll go down the line um, for us. Now let's go ahead and add some more stuff. So we'll add, um, we'll do hours, minutes, and seconds. So minute, and we'll go ahead and add current date dot minute. And then we'll do seconds too. So environment dot new line, and we'll go ahead and add seconds. current date dot second okay so let's go ahead and fix this right here we do not need these parameters uh, now what we can do is we showed the um, month year the day the hours the minutes and the seconds now we can get the day of the week and the day of the year which is of type integer so the day of the week is either going to be one through seven and the day of the year is going to be either one through 365 or 366 uh, for a leap year. So we can type message box dot show uh, day of week and we'll go ahead and add current date dot day of week. Now we will show the day of the year. So message box dot show day of year and we will add current date dot day of year. Okay, so now what we can do is we can run our program and we, it will get all of these um, time values. So here we have our long uh, time value which shows the, the month, the day of the month, the year, hours, minutes, seconds, and p.m. or a.m. Then we get month five. So it is the fifth month of the year, which is May. Year 2011, uh, which is of course the year we get the day which is May 9th we get hour 19 and this goes by the 24 hour uh, time period so hour 19 would be 7 uh, minute is 29 minutes and second is 18 seconds so 729 18 seconds it is the first day of the week because it is Monday and um, the day of the weeks start from Monday in 
uh, visual, visual basic. They do not start from Sunday. And then the day of the year is 129. So um, go ahead and put this code in if you aren't already have it. Um, and once you've used some date functions, get some values from your date objects, uh, and you're familiar with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.